Good afternoon, happy Wednesday. Hope everyone is doing good. I am Jeanette Lane. <laughs> I'm Jeanette and uh, thank you so much for watching this kind of like impromptu midweek live stream. Uh, usually I'm on Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. UK time, but I thought with everything that's going on in the world, it would be nice to just catch up in the middle of the week and just take a time out from everything that's going on. And um, no, sorry, my laptop's doing an update so I can't read comments. No, I'm so sad. Okay, it's, oh, it's at 40%. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> so I just thought it'd be good to come on during the week and take a break from everything that's going on in did I already say that and just like kind of connect because I know a lot of people are um, self-isolating and you know you might get lonely and it it's it's just a good time to get our mind off of things <laughs> and so um, yeah say hello tell tell me where you're watching from and uh, what you're up to what you know how, how are you feeling I hope everyone's doing okay and hanging in there. Um, yay, my laptop. I'm looking down because my laptop is in my in my lap <laughs> where it's supposed to be. And uh, it's doing its update, so I can't even turn it on. These updates on computers take forever. Forever. So I do apologize. Give me one second as it... Um, because I can't read the comments. I can't say hello. Maybe I'm by myself. <laughs> That's all right. You can watch the replay. There it goes. My little laptop. Do you guys ever forget your passwords? Because I use kind of different passwords for everything. And you just get a feeling for your passwords. I'm like, I don't quite remember what this password is, but I feel like it's this. <laughs> anyway, a few things going on as far as current giveaways that I don't want you to miss out on. So firstly, if uh, Mrs. Stationery and stuff, AKA Laura is watching, I have your prize. <laughs> from two weeks ago. I'm sorry for the delay in mailing. So here's your prize, a bag full of die cuts from my stash and all sorts of cute little goodies. Look at that. It's a little SVG and then I have some tags in here that I've die cut, but also some really pretty little um, ephemera and whatnot. So I will put that, look at me, Laura, I'm putting it in it. <laughs> I'm gonna send that tomorrow during my lunch break. <laughs> There it is. All it needs is your address, which I have, and I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna send that off. But also, uh, there is a giveaway going on right now of this guy, the Watercolor Garden Pop-Up Box Card Kit, which is great. It's packed with beautiful papers. These are some of them. It comes with more, so these are double-sided. These are some of the designs. But also, it comes with um, 165 pre-cut floral watercolor elements. So these gorgeous like florals and leaves and I've used them a lot in my crafting like the past month or so. And so this one is going out to enter to win this one. You need to comment on the last Saturday live stream, which would be uh, Saturday the 14th. So if you could head over there and leave a comment, you'll be entered to win and I will announce the winner this Saturday. So that guy, brand new. Oh, this is taking so long. Why? It's not fun if I can't read the comments. So let me show you what I worked on as this thing is loading. I'll show you what I worked on Monday, which was the last time I came on for like the weekly edition of my lime, lime. <laughs> Lime stream, not lime stream. <laughs> Gosh, live stream. One second. <laughs> so I was working on this uh, pocket letter layout. And this is as far as I got in the last, uh, on Monday, just because, I don't know, I really, 
it always takes me a long time to create my layouts for that and so that is as far as I got I was using this beautiful kit from practical publishing it was one of the paper recent paper craft essentials magazines I it might may still be in stock I'm not sure and also a uh, craft stash had a 15% off no not 15% off sorry they had a worldwide shipping worldwide shipping yesterday free worldwide shipping and so um, I'm not sure if anybody took advantage of that Maybe you did, hopefully. I did not, I was tempted, but I didn't get anything. Let me know if you did anything for St. Patrick's Day. I stood in forever. I'm so sorry. This is so annoying. So today I thought that I would continue on this layout, but also, I don't know, I got an amazing surprise in the mail um, from Maria Husk, which is what she view, she watches the Saturday uh, morning live streams. And so she sent me some happy mail, like just a random act of kindness, which is really lovely, a great surprise to receive. Um, let me show you what she sent me this thing is just not pretty. I'm not happy about it. All right, so I might go have to, I'm gonna have to borrow another laptop because it's not working. It's not cooperating. Let me, let me shut this one down. It's just not gonna work. I'm gonna have to run to the next room and get a different device because it's not working so let me show you but first let me um, kind of leave this here so that you can so that you can look at it how am I gonna cover that up I know switching cam cameras so I'll cover this up kind of like that that's my um wrong wrong planner it's so cute wrong wrong notebook Let me get this wire out of the way too. That would be helpful. And I do appreciate your patience so much right now. And I'm sad that I can't say hi just yet. So let me leave you with the beautiful things that Maria sent me. Look at that, so cute. Beautiful little bits. So I'll get to all of that in just a bit so I can show you everything because I kind of perused it very quickly. But give me count to let's see count to 20 i'll be right back I'm back. You guys, there was a fox right outside the window and I wish I could show you, but it, I have a feeling the stream would cut off. There was a little foxy, a little foxy in the background, in the backyard. So cute. There's so much, uh, foxes are so much smaller than I thought. And also some of them, you can tell they've led a hard life. They're like kind of, not mangy, but uh, they're missing like fur. Like one had like a huge chunk out of it the other day. Like it was just really sad, but they're very resilient. <laughs> um, so anyway, I do apologize for this delay in the comments because that's the best part. You guys are the best part about all of this. So. 
hopefully you've been keeping each other company. I know a lot of uh, people like kind of the, the same people, regulars <laughs> tune in. So it's really fun to see you guys interact and uh, kind of you're like online pals that I know some of you have connected on like um, on Facebook and Instagram and whatnot. So it's just really fun to see you guys, like just your interactions. They're really cool. Really fun. Okay, we're one step closer. <laughs> All right, here we go. There I am. There you are. Hopefully you can hear me. Gosh, that would be the worst if like you couldn't even hear me. After all that, that would be the worst. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't more prepared. I just, uh, I've been working from home and so I, I ran a little bit late uh, with work and I had to like scramble, scramble. <laughs> Yay, hooray. First of all, let me change it to all chat, not top chat. You guys are all top chat. Okay. <laughs> all right, we have Louise Cole. Hello, Louise, Kate, Lynn Clifton, hello. Um, Tracy Martindale, yay, Loray Rob, Ro, Robeson, Loray Robeson, beautiful name, watching from Atlanta, Emma's here, and another Tracy, Tracy Sykes, Sarah Louise, hello, Helen Griffin, hi, Ian Ianiville, one, Ianiville, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, I hope I am, hello from sunny Florida. Kathleen Ramon, hi, hi. Cheryl Cruz, Cheryl Cruz, we were talking about you yesterday, or Monday. <laughs> I think we mentioned Cheryl. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think everybody's doing good. Scrapping, scrapbooking for life. Says, hello, Jeanette and crafty friends. Kenda Hatcher. She says, uh, Kenda says, I, hi, glad to know that it takes you a while to do a PL, PL layout like me. Oh, yes, <laughs> it takes me a long time. Usually when um, I do, you know, I have my um, tutorials, I, I trim out a lot of like the <laughs> rearranging, the umming and aahing. <laughs> like, hmm. Okay, Scrapanology, hello. Gina, I hope you've been well. And Wendy, sweet little Wendy Kesky. One of my favorite coworkers of all time. One of the most talented crafters in the world. We are trying to convince her to start her YouTube channel. Loray Rob Robeson. <laughs> Sends a little cute little kissy face. Debbie, hello. Fun, fun, fun. All right, lots of comments to go through and I will make sure to see that, to read those later. Cat Paper Love, hello, how are you? <laughs> So happy you could join us. All right, so I'm really sad I couldn't show you the fox. Like, it's so cute. Um, but let's get, and let me show you really quick what Maria Husk sent me, and then we can try to sort out a little bit more of this um, pocket letter layout. See where it goes, see where it takes us. All right. Okay, so she, so I sent her, um, I sent Maria, she won one of my giveaways, and then she ended up sending me something back, which I think is the sweetest. She sent a really cute little um, postcard. It says, Jeanette, thank you for the gift from your live show. Wanted to share a few bits with you. Please feel free to use them or gift them. Many thanks for all the inspiration, Maria Husk. And she sent these really cute little envelopes. Look how cute those are. And they're teeny tiny. So cute, and I love that map. I love anything with maps. If you guys head to your charity shops and thrift stores, um, look out for the map section, because those are great to cut up, die cut, and whatnot. 
I think these you can tear apart. That's cool. It's little bits. Some sparkly stickers, some Santoro stickers, labels. Ooh. I love like vintage mappy kind of things. So fun. Another little postcard for me to to use, which is so so kind. Thank you so much, Maria. So many fun things to play with. I want to make something out of this and then we can like pay it forward. I can pay it forward to one of you guys. Just sent paper and vellum. I needed some vellum. Remember I was talking about vellum. <laughs> uh, look how nice that is, that foiled sheet. Gorgeous, kind of like a painterly, um, painterly kind of paper pattern, sorry. Lynn Clifton says, ooh, Jeanette, what a lovely surprise package. It was, guys, it was totally unexpected. So kind, thank you, Maria. <gasps> Look at all that foil. I do love me some foiling. And then that is like a page, kind of like a dictionary page, but you could probably also do that as well on your own. So maps, dictionaries, you guys should keep an eye out for those things at your charity shops. Thank you, thank you, Maria. I would definitely wanna make something with that. And um, pay it forward, guys. Pay it forward. All right, so where did we leave off on this layout? I think I wanted to, um, what did I wanna do? Did I want to keep it simple? I can't remember. It is, uh, Lorraine Rob Robeson says, gorgeous, love the postcard to David Bowie Doc. <laughs> that is what it is. That's so cute. This is good to put in my traveler's notebook. Just to kind of clip it in there would be super cute. Let's do that now before I forget, because I'll forget. I'm trying to find a clip. Cute little clip. There's one. I think um, I got this from a pen pal or maybe from a planner meetup. So it's just a little paper clip with a little tassel on the end. It'd be like something that's super easy to make. And then I can go over here, grab one of my traveler's notebooks. This is what I love about traveler's notebooks is that you can just add stuff to it. Um, I feel like he goes with this one more. He's like psychedelic, I like that, like colorful background. And then you can just clip it in there and that can go back and it gives me some fun little texture at the top there. Fun stuff. Um, Tracy Martindale says that she's not crafted today. She made hubby's box card last night, though. Sorry, water break. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I missed all the comments where you guys were saying what you were crafting. So um, hopefully you guys have been staying crafty. I know it might be hard at this moment to stay inspired, but um, hopefully, hopefully you're seeing creative, getting creative. How are you guys dealing with, um, like buying supplies, like craft supplies? Are you guys like stocking up on adhesive? Are you, um, I don't know. Are you being like more careful about, mindful about using your scraps? Or maybe you are um, trying different crafts at this time because maybe you have a little bit more time on your hands. What's the crafty situation looking like for you guys? Let me know. Um, I am digging through my one of my little ephemera storage pieces, storage wallet, sorry and um, try and find one that was already pre-cut. So this is from 
one of the magazine stamp sets. Uh, I can't remember which one. <laughs> uh, but I usually um, take all, all, all the magazine stamps that I get, or just stamps in general, and I'll stamp them on white card, and then fussy cut them, and use them as die cuts. Like ephemera, sorry. So that's what I'm doing with this one. This is one of my favorite stamps. You've probably seen me use it quite a bit. Um, Feli says she's making wire wrapped beads. Uh, Emma says she's gonna try using the things she already has. Helen says she's putting together samples of her new collection to launch as next week. Ooh, Helen, is that still going forward? Hopefully it is. Um, Kate Fletcher says the stamp set was creative stamping. Yes, definitely. Creative Stamping Magazine has some excellent, excellent um, stamps. A4 size stamp sets. Candace says that she's working on a green, black, and white PL. She's using some scraps on it too, and she keeps changing it. Yeah, it's one of those things that just, um, I feel like uh, pocket letters are a very involved <laughs> um, kind of hobby. I don't know, they just, for some reason, like for me, it just takes me forever, forever, forever. Okay, so I know my American friends most likely know where that's from, that like forever. Uh, because, you know, baseball is big in the States, not so big in the UK. So I wonder if any of my UK friends know the film, you know, Sandlot and whether <laughs> they, you know, like, because it's, it's something that you don't think about. <laughs> um, so yeah, UK friends, I'm going to be super impressed if you guys know the Sandlot. <laughs> and if you know that line, <laughs> you know, they're killing me small, they're killing me. That's such a great, oh, I need to watch that. It's been so long. <laughs> um, you know what other film, like totally unrelated, not even baseball related, but other films that I absolutely, absolutely love? is Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. Like those three movies, like they are the best. The old, like the first ones. So, so good. Oh, they crack me up. Rowley is just the cutest little thing. <laughs> All right, so there it is. So this is just a black frame die cut from a Sizzix die. I can't remember which one, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Probably if Wendy still watches, she can tell you exactly, exactly what die that's from. Wendy, let me try to find that die set because you did the packaging. I think she did the packaging for it, or one of the ones. No, this is a different die set. So, Wendy, Wendy, are you still here? <laughs> so, uh, Wendy designed the packaging on this that uh, when I worked at Sizzix, that was also part of my job to design packaging for different dyes. So this is one of Wendy's projects here, and then her kiddos there when they were smaller. Um, but yeah, that's a different die set, but very similar. Also, this die set here is from Linda Canasi. A really nice little frame that is compatible with like Instax photos. So there we go. This is just a scrap of paper. This is, I think this is like a Heidi Swap post-it note, maybe, like a little sticky note. And then we'll add our model girl, model lady. She probably has a cool name, this this girl here. She needs a name, because I use her a lot. <laughs> I want to be able to say, <laughs> Elaine. <laughs> maybe not, she may, I don't, maybe she's not an Elaine. <laughs> she's probably like a, I don't know. She has a cool name, like an extra cool name. The smile is the new color Karis. Hello. It's been a while since Karis has watched and she's been able to join up again. Wendy, you heard me. Oh, it's this one, Wendy. This die set, it's an Instax die set. I just don't remember. Uh, the one's from Linda. From Good Morning Linda. You guys, working at Sizzix was awesome. So much fun. All right, so I'm going to use some foam tape because I always feel like it adds just a little, a little something something. 
and I'm gonna just kind of offset it just to the side. It's gonna hang off of there. We're gonna cut that off in just a bit. And then we'll add her, our girl who needs a name. Uh, Kate says that I should name her after your favorite Jane Austen character. Ooh, that's, that's a hard one. I really like Anne from Persuasion. Also, I used the leftover bits from the, from this, from this one. Oh gosh, my hair is all over the place. Uh, so you can use these little extra bits there. Don't throw those away. You can use them if they've lost their stickiness. Like this one doesn't feel very sticky. Just put some adhesive on top. And we'll put her there. Add the foam, foam on foam, guys. It, I feel like it does, it makes such a difference. And for my glue, I'm using Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue, which is fantastic. All right, then we'll flip this guy over and trim off the excess. And we can add more things here. I'm thinking about... I have a bunch of like itty bitty hearts. Just cut from black. Always save those little itty bitty dies. I feel like, um, I know in the past I've just kind of haven't cared for, like I only gravitate towards big dies, but lately I am all for the little itty bitty dies. They just, um, you can build your backgrounds with them. You can, um, you know, when you just need just a little extra something and you don't know what, <laughs> head for, um, reach for the little, little die cuts. So I can add some more hearts. I'm pulling these. These are probably um, scrappy leftovers from this, which was an SVG. Um, cut file from Paige Taylor Evans, which I got on the Silhouette store. So I had a bunch of little hearts. Hello, Kirsten Hamilton. How are you? Emma says she just stocked up on a big bottle of Cosmic Shimmer. I'm actually impressed with, um, because I got this quite a while ago and I still have like I haven't used used very much of it. I've been very mindful of not like just having heaps and heaps of glue on things. <laughs> so I just use it very um, sparsely. Sparsely? Is that a word? Sounds like parsley. <laughs> very sparsely. Very, no, that's not the word. Um, discreetly? No, not discreetly. <laughs> Can you use glue it discreetly? Moderately? Mm, moderately. Maybe the word is moderately. It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> um, sparingly. Kate, you doll. <laughs> sparingly, yes. Spar <laughs> sparsely. Is sparsely even a word? I don't even know. Thank you, Emma. <laughs> yes, save the day. So see, look at these little itty bitty die cuts. You can just use those in the background. Kind of like a little bit of confetti. If you would like, just kind of like that. I don't know, not feeling that for now, but that's an option. Um, I wanted to create, where can I do that? I wanted to make a faux shaker. Uh, maybe I'll do that with this frame, just to kind of show you that. A faux shaker card. So this is just a little frame, like a Polaroid kind of frame. My I Like You A Latte, one of the um, my, like digital downloads I found on AC Digitals, and then this little like label shape. So we will set those aside for now. And let me grab some vellum. Ah, I just spilled, spilled a bunch of, um, 
<laughs> ephemera everywhere. No. All right, so I'm gonna grab some vellum from the beautiful package that um, Maria sent me. And I wanna cut that. Uh, let's see, let's see. Maybe I just wanna do it the size of this guy. Yeah, that'll do. All right, so I'm just going to, okay, so I'm gonna glue this down. We're gonna make a faux shaker because sometimes shaker cards aren't, I don't know, they kind of take a while to make. And I don't struggle with them. It's just like I try to avoid them if possible. So I will trim this excess off. And Wendy got the number for this die. Thank you, Wendy. And Sizzix die 662179. That's a good one. I use that a lot, that little frame. And of course you can make your own frames with just, um, all you would need is like a rectangle or a square die of any size really so you could take just a piece of paper like this a little trim it down and then put a square die somewhere there and create your own frame so then sorry just still didn't trim this quite properly quite right thanks for getting that wendy you are super helpful So I like just adding, also just in general, just adding, if sometimes you feel like, hmm, don't know what to do with this card, like what do I do with this particular pocket? And then if you just add some vellum, just kind of trim it there in the center, it just softens it up, kind of gives it a different, um, different kind of look. Kate says there's this dog the size of a small pony walking down a road. Kate, you always have cool things happen. <laughs> That's so cool. You need to share a picture. Share a picture somewhere. And you can kind of eyeball, eyeball this. But there, you can just add that little piece of vellum. And it'll be... Just something different to add to your to that particular pocket softens it up a little bit you can do some embossing heat embossing on that also I, I like the idea of balance in my layout so if I add a little vellum because I'm adding a little bit of vellum here then it, it's good to add a little bit of vellum elsewhere just to maintain the balance keep the peace <laughs> um, so there it is. Now I'm going to add some sequins to the background. Where are my sequins? That is a great question because I remember I recently reorganized some things. Oh, great. What did I do with all my sequins? Give me one second, guys, while I try to jog my memory. Where did all the sequins go? They couldn't have gone far that much, I know. Ah, where, where, where? Let me check a bag. Bag check. I'm a bag lady. I am a bag lady, for sure. I found them. They were in this bag. Bag. Chaz scraps in bits. Guys, I don't have a lot of crafts, craft uh, space. I have my little craft bookshelf in the background, and then that is pretty much it. And then I have like a random box under my bed with, um, 
just dies that I don't use very frequently. But um, <laughs> the rest is in bags. Bags are those little storage envelopes that I showed you. Ooh, what color should we go with? Ooh, ooh, la la. Let me go for these. Kind of like iridescent pink. Tell me what you think. I don't know if they go, if they go. So we have those, maybe. I think those, those go well. Um, Deb, Deb from Minnesota, you made it. Hello. Uh, Lynn Clifton says she has a lovely container for her sequins. It's a lovely case with green frogs on it. Used to be to go container to hold tapes, but the insert removed. It's really roomy. Ooh, yeah. I need like um, definitely need some kind of containers. I thought I had peach. I thought I had peachy sequins. Oh, heavens me. I don't know where it is. Tracy says, Jeanette, my hubby says your voice is soothing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, I feel like I have some here at the very bottom. Maybe these ones. Where are these sequins? These ones, these ones. Just those are kind of almost like iridescent. I think I'll use those instead. Or maybe the peach ones. I don't know. Might change my mind, guys. Let's just try it, see what happens. So I will do... So that's going to go over. Again, this is a faux shaker. I would like to see like a faux shaker like on a large scale. See what that looks like. And then I'm going to place, so I just put some dabs, dabs, dots, dots of glue <laughs> on just right there in the center. And then adding the sequins, which, you know, sometimes shaker cards, they're just unruly and the sequins stick to like the foam tape, if you know what I'm talking about, along the borders. And this way you can control where your sequins are placed. Is Debbie leaving? Did I miss something? Debbie, come back. She's going to work. Uh, all right. Let's see how that's looking. Not bad. So there you can see just a little bit of that sequence, like the sequence behind. And then I didn't want to get that excess there. So then we can maybe I'll add some some pink. Just so it can pop through, show through just a little bit more. I'll maybe add some gold, maybe some gold, switch it up. Now this would look a lot better if there was different size of like sequins. Because that would just, um, it'd just be more, um, what's the word? Kind of like, just when things are like different sizes, it kind of promotes eye movement. <laughs> so. That's fun. See, that gold kind of pops through a little bit better. And then we'll just glue the rest. Glue it on. Just a little glue, using it sparing, sparingly. Kenda says she likes the vellum over the bling. Yeah, I mean, because if you were to try to attempt a shaker, <laughs> I mean, you could do it, but it's just like a shortcut, guys. And there it is. And then you can do the shaker sound effect on your own. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Appreciate your patience. Who else? I was trying to find my sequins. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Okay. So that's that. Now I forgot. Now I lost everything that was on top of there. Oh yeah. What was this one? This guy, which is... I feel like it's a little too big, so we might have to find something else. So we have our little latte there. That still works. And since this is a digital file, I can go back and shrink it, make it smaller, which is always good. And I can print it as many times as I need. Um, let's find more things, more things to add. Um, Here's the collection of uh, page flags that I have. Super cute ones. I left many behind on my transatlantic, transatlantic move. But I brought some, some with me. So I do use a lot of like page flags in my crafting, not just for planners, but I try to incorporate them elsewhere, wherever I can. I'm thinking this peach kind of goes. I think it does. So what I can do here is just trim. Let's see, did I glue that all the way down? I think I did, but I think I can lift this up just a little bit and kind of slide that kind of underneath. It adds a little bit more um, interest there. Ah, it ripped. It's all right. It's going to be covered up. So I don't want to, like when you're layering, don't try not to like line things up perfectly. See like that. If you just offset it just a little bit. So if we lift it up a little bit and shift it over to the side, it gives it just a little bit more interest. It promotes eye movement, guys. Eye movement is a thing, I'm telling you. It just makes your eye go like, woo, instead of like, brr. <laughs> oh, sound effects are fun. <laughs> sound effects are fun in crafting. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, you guys are the best. <laughs> oh no, a Tracy is leaving. Which Tracy? Tracy Martindale? <laughs> there was another Tracy watching. Bye, Tracy. Take good care. All right. So see, just that little page flag there, just popping out that little bit. Just gives it another little something, something to look at. I should have probably trimmed that in half if I wanted to use the other half for something else. But it just has a little pop of peach, which is good because there's peach throughout the rest of the layout and it kind of just pulls it, pulls it in just a little bit. And then I can use that. I'll leave these out because I'll probably use them somewhere else to keep the balance. Maybe on this one. So what I can do here is add one page flags, guys. Use them in your crafts. So this look good, so I'll grab two. And I have this, ooh, I can't remember which die cut that, die that's from. I think it's one from Die Cutting Essentials Magazine. <laughs> Lynn says, loving your sound effects tonight, you're making me laugh. <laughs> I'm glad, Lynn. <laughs> oh, you guys are the best. All right, so if I do that, kind of something like that, extend it, extend my little page flag, then I can do something like that. And then it has a little bit of balance. You can see that pattern throughout. Makes it more cohesive. So I'll just glue that, put a little bit of glue there, just a little. We're gonna cover that up. We'll add some foam tape there. Make 
Cheryl says, cool, crafty tips, Jeanette. Thanks, Cheryl. We'll add that foam tape. I'm not gonna add um, more to it. Because when you're, when you're using foam tape and you're adding you know, layers and whatnot, it is wise to try to fill, like just add more foam tape to kind of make sure it's laying balanced and flat on your bottom layer. But I tend to add foam tape just on the center of things because this gives me leeway to try to put something behind it. Do you know what I mean? Kind of test things out. So glue the centers, just the center of things, and then you can go back and add some more things. This would be cool. <laughs> you guys, I'm so lazy. Like, I'm really, uh, not, I'm not lazy. I'm just, <laughs> uh, I don't know what the word is. It's just like, if, if I had more dedication, <laughs> I would thread the twine probably through these little loops. I think it'd be really cute. However, it would just take, I don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> but it would just be a nice way to add texture. You can imagine what it would be, what it would have been like if I had taken the time, if I'd take the time to do that. I feel like some people are really good about stuff like that, like little details. It's just me, I just want to get done and move on to the next thing. This is another cut file from uh, Paige Taylor Evans on the Silhouette Store, on the Silhouette Store. So pretty, I wanna use that somewhere. I don't know about that. I don't know if I want it there, but I definitely wanna use it. Maybe here. Nah, it's a little, maybe on this girl. Behind her, just kind of a little sprig. You can trim this up. Hmm, I don't know. Set it aside. We'll set it aside for now. Uh, I forgot where this one goes. I think that one went over there. This one, I don't know if I want to commit to gluing that down yet. Do you guys have commitment issues with gluing things down? You're like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if we're there yet. I don't know if I should glue you down. I might change my mind. <laughs> mm. Emma says, watching Jeanette's stream makes me think every day is Saturday. <laughs> As I usually am here Saturday mornings, it's 10 a.m. UK time. I know a lot of my US friends are sleeping at that time, but there's just something really cool about waking up first thing and um, like first thing, like just diving into crafting. I have wondered if, um, wondered if like I should do a later, a later live stream on Saturdays. I'm not sure yet. We will see, we will see. Uh, I really wish I had a bigger piece of this, of this cardstock here. This is the inside of that die, the frame die. Um, but I don't, I don't have any more. I think that was the last of it. So this calls for some foam tape. Foam tape to the rescue. Mary Kay's Artful Journey says, staple it. Which part, which part? I do like my tiny t attacher to staple things. I really feel like foam tape, guys, makes such a difference. Invest in some, invest in some foam tape. Don't buy the crappy stuff on Amazon, guys, because buy it from a, from a brand that you <laughs> recognize. Because trying to remove the release paper on foam tape on poor quality like foam tape it can be it, it can take years off of your life trust me so don't do it 
buy the name brand stuff, it, it does make a huge difference. It might be a little bit more expensive, but it does make a difference. <laughs> there I go. See those little, little die cuts? They are helpful. So I'm just going to put that, I'm going to glue it right off of the, um, kind of like it's floating off of that little tag there. Mary Katie's Artful Journey is watching from Washington State. That's awesome. Debbie says the Dollar Tree foam tape works amazing. <laughs> yes, Dollar, I miss a Dollar Tree. They have a pound, pound land here, pound shop. Which Kate says, definitely don't buy the foam tape from the pound shop. It is awful. Yes, if you want some good quality foam tape um, that's inexpensive, I do recommend the Craft Stash brand. I should have a link to Craft Stash in the video description. And they do ship to the US and they often have free worldwide shipping. So if you subscribe to their emails, um, you can see their offers. They do do a lot of the free worldwide shipping. So keep an eye on that. What time is it? I'm getting hungry. It's almost dinner time. Let's see what else. Ooh, I should go back to my, where did my page flags go? Let's see what else I got in here. Looking for something peachy, peach keen. Um, hmm. Hmm. These are nice. Just this one, this like little plain polka dot kind of one, kind of pattern there. It matches the other colors that I've got that I've got happening, going on. I feel like this one wants to live here. Yeah, it does. It wants to move, move to this card. So I will trim off this bottom part. Let's trim it in half because we don't need the whole thing. Kind of put it there. Just popping out, just off of the back, just a little, a little something, a little something, something in the corner. It is ten twenty-two in Washington. You're just starting off your day. It's five twenty-three. Five twenty-three here. And it's almost time for supper time. Luffy is cooking again tonight. Hooray! He is being <laughs> very ambitious. We found we found some uh, sounds so posh, but it was on sale. <laughs> some venison meatballs. So we're having like he's making an onion gravy with some venison meatballs, some other veggies. Fancy schmancy. So I use the other half of that uh, page flag down there at the bottom. This is coming together, guys. So see, I've used a bunch of foam tape. Now she looks a little bit unbalanced. I forgot what we named her. She needs a name. Um, so um, it would be good to add some foam tape here when I'm done to just kind of level her out but I don't want to add it just yet because like you saw me earlier just test out things testing stuff out so I still want to leave leave myself give myself that option I forgot I was going to use this this is the other half of this one this die cut so that would good go good somewhere else hmm hmm cute up there so what you could also do with this circle like if you do have a circle die you can cut cut it in half and do one half like that at the top or one half at the bottom or have the two one at the top and one at the bottom 
I'm not feeling that. Nope, nope, nope. All right, guys. Progress has been made. Progress. Ooh, look at this little itty bitty guy. That kind of matches my little color scheme going on. It's a little um, piece of ephemera. Says creativity is messy. I am very creative. It has a bit of yellow that I want to trim away. What is the state of your craft room right now? Are you guys like super duper? Um, is it just a mess? Mine, I, mine was a mess. My little craft craft corner because I just left it from um, the other day, Monday. Ooh, maybe that can go there. Maybe this could be its home. Maybe. We'll leave it there for now. And I definitely want to use this elsewhere because I've used it there. Maybe I'll use this on this side. Kind of like that. If you want to fishtail something, um, what I end up doing, let me show you on a scrap bit of paper. So if you want to get it kind of even, there are a few ways to fishtail things. Uh, yo, why can't I find a bigger scrap? I need a bigger scrap. Second, finding a bigger scrap of paper. Maybe this will do. So what you can do is either cut the center like that, do a little strip there, and then come in from that corner and that corner to the center point. So you can fishtail that that way. Or what you can do, also what you can do kind of with like ribbon as well. I don't recommend this with thick cardstock. Is you kind of just uh, fold it in half a little bit, and then trim it, just like that. So don't do it with with like really thick cardstock. This is almost too thick as well. And so you just trim it at an angle, and make your little fish tail. Hope that makes sense. All right, it's water break time. I'm so thirsty, I get so thirsty during this. I'm going to leave it at that because it's almost dinner time. Also, my feet fall asleep all the time. Kate says she had a massive tidy up. It was very hard not to get distracted by all the pretty things she kept finding. Debbie says, hers looks like a tornado ran through it two, through two times. Not one time, two times. <laughs> Wendy has to go run out to the shed to find chip feeder. So if you leave before I get back, goodbye, friend. Goodbye, sweet Wendy. Good to talk to you. Thank you so much to everybody who tuned in today for the weekday sessions. I will be back Friday. So I'll be back Friday, um, same time, 4.30. And then Saturday will be probably 10 a.m. 10 a.m., yeah. Saturday will be 10 a.m. as usual. Thank you again for taking time out of your day. I really appreciate it. I really encourage you um, to reach out to each other virtually um, so that you're, you know, not feeling, you don't know who's like, you know, suffering from like feeling the loneliness right now. Also, I do recommend getting a gratitude, starting a gratitude journal because it's so easy to focus on the bad times. I'm going to write you guys again. Last time I wrote, <laughs> what's the date today? 18? Oh, I thought it was a 19. So it's nothing fancy. See, just a list, a date. Add as many things as you want. Thankful for. Today I was thankful that I got to have lunchtime, like spend lunchtime with Lovey, like have lunch you know, on a Wednesday. 
afternoon that was nice because we were both working from home so i was thankful for that and then i'm thankful for everyone tuning into the live stream so it's nice to go back earlier in the week and look at just the little things that you're thankful for having enough having enough toilet paper like never ever thought to be thankful for that but i am now um and it just helps you focus on the positive things instead of all the negative things because that can be scary all right hope everyone stays safe Thank you again for watching. Send you guys, sending you guys big hugs and kisses. Take good care. And I'll see you guys real soon. All right? Bye.